What is the hierarchy of controls? The hierarchy of controls is a set of strategies we can use to protect people from different hazards, including COVID-19. The hierarchy, beginning with elimination, followed by engineering controls, administrative controls, and protective equipment, guides us to start with the most effective control first, but we need to consider all options available to protect workers and the public. Let's begin with the most effective. Elimination, at the top of the hierarchy, refers to removing the hazard from the environment, like staying home when you are sick so others are not exposed. Elimination is the most effective control because it removes the hazard from the environment entirely. Elimination on its own is difficult with COVID-19 since we do not have a vaccine or treatment available yet. We can eliminate the hazard from the community by asking symptomatic people to stay home to prevent infecting others. However, some people carry the virus and don't develop any symptoms, so we have no way of knowing if everyone with COVID is staying at home, eliminating exposures to at-risk members of the public. Engineering controls use technology to keep the hazard away from people like adding plexiglass barriers between workers or adding a HEPA filter to your heating and cooling system. Engineering controls are more effective than other controls further down the hierarchy because they usually don't require people to do anything different while they go about their day. Having barriers in place keeps workers separated so they don't have to remember to remain separated. Having a good ventilation system to filter out virus particles and bring in fresh air doesn't require someone to do anything other than turn it on. Administrative controls involve changing the way people work, maintaining a six-foot distance, and staggering work shifts and clock-in times to decrease crowding and help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Administrative controls rely on people doing the right thing. Controls at this level will not be effective if people do not follow guidelines, whether it is because they do not think it is important or if they just forget. The lowest point on the hierarchy of controls is the personal equipment tier. There are two kinds of PE. Protective equipment is equipment that protects people like healthcare workers who wear respirators when treating patients with COVID. Cloth face coverings are examples of community protective equipment that are worn by individuals to prevent community spread of the virus, especially when people don't have symptoms yet. Even though cloth face covers are at the bottom of the hierarchy, wearing them is one of the most important things we can do on an individual level. Protective equipment is traditionally considered the least effective in the hierarchy because in order to work, people need to use it correctly, make sure it is working, and maintain it to make sure it is clean and undamaged, which often requires training and supervision. There is uncertainty and difficulty in controlling exposures across the multiple environments we may encounter in a single day. So we need to use all of these control strategies to protect people and reduce the spread of COVID-19. The more controls we have in place, the more likely we are able to stop the spread and protect everyone in our community.